Within Freemasonry, as you know, there are so many different traditions around the world that play a role in Freemasonry. In the beginning, we have the Big Bang, and this took place 13 billion years ago. Black holes, dark matter, and dark energy. We still don't entirely understand them and what they are. But as I was studying this in my astrophysics class in university, it occurred to me that this was the most closest thing to God or deity that I've ever come to understand. This was creation energy itself. It was very clear to me that there was a very primordial belief that the masculine was associated with light and the feminine associated with darkness. And obviously it was stars during this big bang. It was a rather romantic story, I thought, as I was learning about it, that stars, as they're burning, they emit these different organic materials, but it didn't start like that. They started emitted these, emitting these different elements, and as they did, hydrogen, carbon, they're created. And as they're floating through the universe, they combine, they happen to collide into each other just by chance. And that's how we get the first organic material in the universe. Had they not had this union totally by chance, we wouldn't have, the, have had the first organic material. This took place in what I call the cosmic womb. And as I began to think about this dark cosmic womb that existed before the Big Bang, which caused all this light, all of this combustion, all of this energy that then in turn created organic material that led to creating life, it seemed as if this was seeding the cosmic womb.